Hello my friends and a very warm welcome back to my painting channel and in this video we're going to paint some really cool looking metallic metals. We're going to use true metallic metals for this and we're going to paint as you see on the left hand side some pristine new looking metals versus some really worn out and beaten up and ruined old metals on the right. So we're going to start first with a nice bright pristine polished steel. And for the polished steel, we're going to make this nice and simple and nice and quick. We're going to use gunmetal as a base color. Gunmetal is a really nice sort of dark metal color that we can tone down and build back up in a very, very quick and easy fashion. Now I'm just going to use a couple of different shields to show off sort of how I do this. And we're just going to paint this, as I say, as a nice quick base of gunmetal. And I'm going to paint, uh, we're going to place uh, a nice layer of null nile on top. Now, Nail is a black wash, so you can use any black wash that you're comfortable with, uh, but I'm just using these two colours just to give you kind of an idea how to darken down this gunmetal. Now, once that's dry, we're going to move on to a nice, simple dry brush of silver, and this silver is a nice, bright, vibrant silver colour, and we're just going to use a very much uh, a less is more kind of technique. So there's going to be very, very small amount of uh, paint on the brush and we're going to build this up very 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 gently as you can see Now once that's done, we're going to move on to the model color version of silver as well So these are two colors that are both called silver and one of them is slightly brighter than, than the other And the model color silver has a very very light um, sort of uh, pigmentation a really sort of uh, vibrant glow to it so once we've done that that is our polished steel as quick and as easy as that so a base a wash and then two highlights just to bring that color up now we're going to twist that round and we're going to make a really rusty battered steel so we're going to go from this really nice pristine color into a dark grimy beaten up color and again we're going to start with that gunmetal so this really nice dark silver just across the shield as you can see so again, I'm just using these colors just to give you, um, just using these shields just to give you sort of an idea and a quick way of doing some really cool looking um, metals. So I'm going to move on to using the Army Painter Strong Tone. Now uh, Strong Tone, you could use a Agrax Earthshade instead from Citadel if you prefer. This one's more of looking like a brown wash. So we're going from a black wash to a brown wash. And the reason for that is because we want this to look a little bit more dirty and a little bit more worn. So moving back to that gunmetal color, and again, we're gonna use the dry brush in effect, and we're gonna use this again, nice and light, using that less is more kind of ethos, and we're just gonna build this up very, very gently, just to get that base color back. But as you can see, we're leaving that brown wash just sitting in those recess points so that that creates that element of dirt and grime. So we're going back to that game color silver as well. Um, with this one, we're gonna be a little bit different, just using a very very fine detail brush which is going to create some scratches and some scrapes and just create some really sort of gnarly scraped and beaten up effects and of course we use in a dab in motion just across the top as well just to create again some more worn out and beaten up uh, like sort of effects just using the dab in and the scrape in motion just like so and this is going to create the element that there's been some scratches through the paint and some scrapes through the the dirt and the dust now, to make this a little bit more uh, dirty and grimy, we're going to use a technical color from Citadel, and we're going on to this Typhus Corrosion. Now, Typhus Corrosion is a really good color for making rust. So this is a really good muddy, dirty, dark, dark color. So when you place this on a miniature as it's wet, it almost looks a little bit too bright, but it really does tone down as it dries, so it darkens down quite a lot. And this gives you something that then you can build up sort of rust effects and all of the different kinds of sort of highlighting and uh, things like that. But it creates a really cool, and like I say, gnarly earlier, really cool sort of like worn out, battered, dirty sort of look. As you can see, I'm just using now stippling effect just to get a little bit more of that dirt and that grime onto the shield. I'm also going to use a little bit of a crusted rust. So this is the medium color. So this is the lighter color out of the AK Interactive range because there's three different colors. There's a light, medium, and a dark. So I'm using the medium color here. And this is an enamel sort of uh, paint. And I'm just using this to create some streaks and some grime just around the, the sort of... Um, 
uh, the, the crease and the fold of the shield here as you can see I'm just gonna place this into some of the areas where I think it might have had a little bit of a buildup of rust just in those sort of more sort of uh, creased up and darker points and some of those areas where I think the rust buildup might have happened and I'm also using the brush as well just to drag down to create the element of, of sort of the rust just dripping off the shield just creating a little bit more of an element of, of worn out sort of beaten up metal as well so you can see now the massive difference between sort of the light one and the dark one and how the bright one is looking really pristine and the dark one's looking really battered and worn. So I'm just going to finally add just a, a final touch of that gunmetal just across the top with a very, very light dry brush. Again, like I say, less is more. So just using almost no paint on the brush. And we're going to make a pristine gold, so a really nice, bright, vibrant looking gold. And again, this is very straightforward, very quick, very easy. So I'm going to start with a Retributor Armor, one of my favourite colours from Citadel. This is already a nice, vibrant colour, but we're going to build this up to make this look really shiny and really, really sort of uh, stand out. So we're going to use a Reikland Flesh Shade uh, shade for this one, but this is the gloss version. And there's a big difference between the gloss version and the normal version. And the gloss version, when this dries down, it maintains a sort of element of shine. And this is a really good colour sort of to keep that sort of glow and that kind of effect on your miniature. It doesn't mat things down too much. So we're just going to lightly dry brush then the Retributor Armour back on top just to build our vibrancy back up while we keep that little bit of the flesh shade in the recesses. The good thing is that flesh shade, as you can see, already looks a little bit shiny. And then moving on to polished gold from Vallejo. This is a really nice, vibrant gold as well. So again, the pigmentation of this one is really, really nice, uh, really vibrant, really bright. So again, less is more, just building that tone, building that color back up. And then we're gonna go to the model color, just a plain gold and this one has some really good flecks of gold in this this is a really nice uh, final sort of highlight to that gold color really does allow this gold this pristine gold to pop from there we're going to make a tarnished gold now gold as such doesn't sort of wear out or sort of tarnish in the same way as other metals so we're just going to make this a really sort of uh, grimy sort of dirty sort of looking gold um, so we're going to start with our Retributor armor again and we're just going to paint this over the shield just going to make a nice coat of this uh, just across the whole area that we're going to cover again like I say this uh, Retributor armor is a really really good color for building up those um, vibrant base tones so I'm going to use strong tone with this one from Army Painter but again you could use an Agrax or a shade if you want the idea is that this is a dark down sort of um, dirty sort of brown kind of wash uh, that will allow it to look like it's a little bit more dirty. Going back to that Retributor Armour and add in a nice uh, light layer of dry brushing. You can see just how much of an effect that Strong Tone has had, uh, darkening that original sort of gold colour down. So we're just going to build that colour back up a little bit in those raised areas with this dry brushing. And then we're just going to add a very, very, very subtle faint dry brush of uh, gunmetal, so just a very, very light dry brush of this silver tone on some of the raised areas, making it almost look like it's worn out and a little bit of the colour is tarnished or, or sort of been a little bit sort of worn out through use as well. And that should create a really nice, easy sort of tarnished gold as well. We're going to move on then and make a really nice bright bronze colour. So again, this is starting with the pristine, really nice bright one. So we're going to go with Brass Scorpion from Citadel. And again, we're just going to cover all of our shield in this Brass Scorpion colour. This is a really nice colour already to begin with. Um, it's a really good colour that you can tone down and build back up in, in multiple different ways. So we're going to build up uh, in a nice sort of pristine colour this way as well, a nice bright colour. So we're going to use the Reichlin Flesh Shade, but this time we're not going to use the gloss. This time we're using the normal Reichlin Flesh shade so this is the matte down version not the gloss version and you'll see the difference in a moment once this dries down it doesn't maintain or keep that shine it tones things down just a little um, giving you a good effect to build up on that that worn out effect so going on to brassy brass then from Vallejo and again just using that less is more ethos once more just building that color back up very very gently and very very lightly you can already see the effect that this is having um, and how much this is starting to make that shield pop. And we're going to do the same thing, we're going to add a small amount of polished gold into that brassy brass um, just to give it a little bit of that extra shine and a little bit of a sort of 
almost not so much of a golden tint, but just a little bit more of a, a vibrant sort of glow to it. And then finally we're going to work on to the Old Worn Bronze, and we're going to use this one, this is going to be a verdigris uh, colour, and this is going to be a really nice looking worn out colour. So we're going to start with that Scorpion Brass again, and we're just going to base over the same shield, um, covering the whole, color, uh, the whole shield in this colour. This time we're going to go a little bit different and we're going to use a green wash. So we're using the Vallejo green wash uh, because this one does have a interesting sort of powdered um, sort of way of drying. So we're going to cover this. This is almost like a technical paint, um, this wash. Um, so I'm just going to get, cover the whole shield in this green. And this is going to make it look a little bit more worn, a little bit old, and a little bit tarnished already. Um, and once this dries down, you'll see what I mean by that kind of powdered matte effect. So using that brass scorpion again, we're going to dry brush this again using that less is more. Gently dry brush this back on top so that we build our colour back up, believing the, the green in those sort of recessed pooled areas. And as you can see, it is already having an effect to make this look really old fashioned. We're then going to move on to the verdigris glaze. Um, you could also use nihilic oxide from Citadel. It's exactly the same thing, so this will work in the same way. And this time we're just going to very gently pick out some of the areas that we want this sort of weathering and this sort of um, colour and tone to, to have a, a real sort of effect. Um, just gently using the very tip of the brush and using a stippling motion just to create that sort of randomised pattern, that kind of, um, again, like that worn out sort of weathered look and so all in all there you go that is our six true metallic colors all painted as simple as that a little bit of wash in a little bit of dry brush in and you get some really awesome vibrant and beaten up colors as always my friends thank you so much for tuning in and watching i really appreciate all of the support the comments and the positivity that you've been showing this channel i really hope that you've enjoyed this video and i really hope that this has given you a few cool new little techniques and tips that you can take into your painted adventures yourselves as always thank you so much and i will see you guys on the next one